So you see, it's a very funny world we live in. Huh? Something simple, they think is complicated. Something very complicated, they say, wow, that is a good thing. <laughs> they worship it, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's funny. Sometimes, sometimes I look at the world with different eyes, and I feel the world is really a funny place. Many things are simple, but no one understands them. And many things are complicated. I don't know if they understand or they just say they understand, but they like it. That's why the world is in the stage it is right now, because we complicate our life. We waste our time on things that are not really important. Many times I've seen the way people do things. I wonder why they do it that way. Run around, run around. Just like sometimes you people ask me questions. You don't go directly to the point, and run around in a circle and, until I had it. <laughs> and I say, stop, because I don't know what's the point. Even if you sit there listening until tomorrow, you still won't know what he wants to ask. What is the question? You know, what's important? But this was like this. No wonder not, not a lot of people are enlightened, and not a lot of masters would like to come here to teach. Remember, if you read the autobiography of Yogananda, his master, Sri Yukteswar, ascended to another world, and heavens assigned him to be the teacher in the astral world, remember? Yes. And then he said to Yogananda, because I have been kind of good in the world, so now I'm able to teach somewhere better, where the beings understand better, more elevated in spiritual knowledge. Remember that? Yes. Did you read the book? Yes. No, I guess just a handful of people read it. If you forgot that part, you go back and read again. Even just an astral world, just one step beyond our world, the Master of Yogananda was already appreciative of the beings, their intelligence, and uh, common sense or spiritual elevation. One step more. But mind you, the astral world has more than 100 different levels. So maybe he was assigned to teach at the highest level, you know, like almost at the border of the second level. So of course they have more spiritual understanding than the humans here. They just don't have the body like we have. This body also affords us many things, a lot of pleasure, a lot of pain, a lot of different experiences, not necessarily good or bad, just different experiences. But for that, we suffer a lot. In this world, not everybody can claim that he's been the happiest man all his life, or the happiest woman, you know, all her life. Until the moment you leave this world, then maybe that's the happiest moment. But for most people, it's not. Most people, they think dying is a terrible thing, because they're not prepared. I am preparing you for the time of departure, because then you are so used to it already, and maybe you are looking forward more or less to that time. And mostly, Master tells you in advance, so you take care of everything before you leave, so nothing bothers your mind at the time of departure, because if one thing still bothers you, if one thing still gets your attention and your desire, then you'll come back. Not necessarily as a human being. Could be a worm. Could be anything as long as you can satisfy your desire. So don't desire anything <laughs> before you die. If you're 
like to eat some apples, for God's sake, eat it. <laughs> eat ten if you want to, and then go with ease. If you still want to eat an apple the moment you <laughs> exist, then maybe you have to come back, not as a human, not even as a vendor of apples, but as a worm inside an apple to eat. Eat, 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 eat all day until you fed up. Then maybe you'll be reborn again as a bigger worm to eat bigger apples or more apples. Who knows? Therefore, practice this meditation slowly or your desires will leave you. You don't have to cut off the desires suddenly. Hmm? except the ones that are harmful to you, like alcohol, drugs, meat, fish, animal people, products, intoxicant products. Otherwise, you don't have to cut everything else suddenly. Hmm? You can do it gradually, okay? Every other thing, except, except the things that are harmful to your spiritual practice. 